Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome back to the Let's Play House of Iron Force, the United States of America. Uh, we're invading, we're invading everywhere and we're not using all of our forces, even though we could. Because I think we'll win anyway and I do not want to lose too much manpower and equipment. I'm just saving those troops for later. They're over here. Hello troops. Loss of infantry and artillery. I might even add normal artillery battalions. We'll see later on. Um, because this is just a prelude to the final war, which will involve us beating Germany's ass. Uh, right, let's continue. We have taken Greece. Not all of it, but haven't they capitulated already? No, but they're close to it. Once we take Thessalonica, they might. Let's make sure that we get the territory. Or rather, we march in there first. No, it's not gonna work. But when they lose it, they will capitulate. I could always invade Crete, but I think Thessalonica will be sufficient. Boeing Flying Fortress. That is quite cool. I could get another bomber. Um, but I think I'll, mm, I want anti-tank weapons, most of all. And I do have another slot, so I theoretically could keep getting the bombers. But let's see if we have something more pressing. And we do. And it's all the support companies, because we're using all of them. Let's make some support companies. Oh, also, occupation resistance. Let's do Greece, I guess. Actually, you know what? I could turn all the American ones to harsh and just uh, deploy troops there. What do you think about that? Well, there's there would be some attrition, though. Maybe it's not the best choice. So, do they have a lot of factories there? Actually, they do have quite a lot of factories. Maybe it is not such a bad idea. Okay, let's get you guys into an army. Or just infantry. Uh, yeah, let's give you Field Marshal Dwight Eisenhower. And I'm going to deploy you to guard all the territories that are not ours. Wait a minute, where was the border with Mexico? Here? I can never remember. I think here. Was this ours or theirs? Mm, crap, I don't remember. Well, let's... I think it was theirs. No, no, it wasn't. Mm, yeah, I don't know much about geography of the US. Which kind of makes sense, because I'm from Europe. And honestly, how many European countries can you uh, show on the map if you're from the US? Um, probably not all of them. Which kind of is an excuse for me to not know all the borders. Oh, this is mine. Eh, whatever. Here you go. Also here and here. And Canada, of course. Yes, make sure to... Also include Canada. Oh, Boston, I shouldn't have clicked Boston, but whatever, really. Not a problem. At least here the border is easy to remember. Bam. Bam. And... Nope. I, I, I wasn't sure if this also counted as Alaska. Apparently it does. No, that's fine with me. Alright, um, I guess I could send you to the UK as well, when we're over, if we're doing that, why not? We do have enough troops, right? Okay, you can also take care of Norway while we're at it. I didn't think I would be doing that, but eh, whatever. <clears throat> All, only the safe bits, because there's a lot of fighting going on in the other areas. I guess you could also take care of Australia, but only the um, well-developed areas. Oh, it's like this. Eh, it's fine. Okay, then. You can take care of all of Australia. Okay, we'll see how they do with that. <clears throat> nuclear reactor, finally. And now we're going to do nuclear bombs. It is going to take forever, but it is worth it. Also, we do have quite a lot of research slots, so not really a problem. Mm, okay, 
So let's build some nuclear reactors. Remember to only build them in our territory. So they don't get randomly destroyed by insurgents. Uh, I guess I still have the islands, don't I? But uh, mainland is easier to manage. New York. This is ours, isn't it? Uh, or isn't it? Oh, God damn it, I can never remember. I think it's ours. Right, and this is ours as well. And I think Southern Ontario is not. Is it? No, I think the border goes here and here. Alright, so that's our nuclear reactors. Is there some more territory we want to? Oh, yes. Here you go. Hawaii also has some um, factory slots which we should use in the near future. Also, I did annex one of you. I don't remember which. Did I annex San Salvador? I think so. I'm going to give them a nuclear reactor as well. And a factory. Also make some more factories here. Oh crap, I shouldn't have done Southern Ontario. Ah, whatever. And in Hawaii. And here. And here. And actually, I should be doing military factories now. Ah, whatever. We will have a lot of them. I wouldn't want a new territory is taken and then I can just spam military factories. They will be more important later on anyway. Here we go. Two nuclear reactors. Lots of them. Actually, mm, factories are higher priority than reactors. And so are the naval bases. So I'm going to readjust this a bit. Like that. And then you make reactors. Yeah, that works for me. Alright, let's continue. I wonder how the army will fare with uh, managing the territories. Maybe we can at least prevent uh, all the sabotages. Or maybe I can even go to, you know, Harsh Treatment. Harsh Treatment gives me more factories to work with. I might be, send, you know, taking care of a too large a piece of territory. Also, Nationalist Spain is joining us. It really doesn't make a difference anymore, I think. Okay, how are we doing here? Oh, wonderful. Yes. Keep doing what you're doing. You're doing great. Let's have a look at you. Well, you're not doing as great as they are, but you're also doing good. Uh, do you have your naval bases built? Here you go, have another one. I guess I could also do infrastructure there. Okay, let's continue. Well, we did take quite a bit of territory, so at least that is helpful. Japan is making gains. Is it though? No, it isn't. It is not making gains. How's Greece? Because we're about to finish it, aren't we? Oh, the Soviets came. Crap. Yeah, I don't really like that very much. I guess I'll switch you to balance because I don't want you throwing your lives away against the Soviet Union. Oh, if only I had the nukes. Oh, wait a minute. Did we just trap them in here? Maybe? Come on, Germans. Push on. Press on and capture the pl this place for me. Okay, I'll just leave them here and see how it goes. If we're lucky, we'll do great. Otherwise, I can just conquer them from the north, because they don't seem to care about the north very much. Maybe I can even reach Moscow from there. Not very likely, but possible. Also, um, that suggests I need more naval bases, doesn't it? Here we go. Prioritize. Yeah, I'll need the nuclear reactors, but I will only need them once um, 
once the uh, bombs can actually be produced, so I don't need to rush them so much, it, it, but it is good to already designate places where we want them. Alright, where are you? I guess you're fine, but you could use some reinforcements. I could give you some more troops. Okay, I'll buff you to a full army. Make sure that everyone is assigned here. How about you? Um, I'm not sure I want to commit all the resources here. Germans will do it, also supplies will be short, so no more troops for you. How about General MacArthur? Actually, you're a field marshal, aren't you? Wait a minute. Why am I not using Eisenhower? Why am I not using Eisenhower? He's so much better. Bloody hell, that is a mistake. Maybe he wasn't... Oh, an Omer Bradley. Attack was 10% over a river. He's useful, but... As good, not as good. Yeah, I mean, Patton's good, but he's a general. I need Eisenhower here, not MacArthur. MacArthur is good, Eisenhower is better. Mm, don't worry, you can lead this army. Actually, no. Uh, this is... Do I have other field marshals? I guess I could just promote one. Like you. Yeah, have this. Because you're just um, garrisoning area, so you don't need a good leader. And this is so much better. How could I have not been using him? I could assign more troops to him, but supplies are short. On the other hand, the front line is getting bigger. So let's give, some, give him some more troops. Here you are. Have more troops. Everyone assigned. Here, go. Are you suffering attrition? Well, some of you are, which is unfortunate, but probably it is not that bad. How uh, are our logistics? Fine, we actually did make a lot of support equipment. Um, there's one thing I didn't remember to do, and that is change my infantry equipment to the better model models. Make sure we do that. Also, I can get rid of some of our artillery production in favor of that. I guess I could decrease the amount of support equipment produced. Although... Are you missing anything? No, you're not missing anything. Yeah, that's, that's, that's okay. Keep doing what you're doing. Oh, Eisenhower. You're so good. Dwight. Dwight's gonna win this war for us. Also, how's our research? I know I'm not using the points. I don't have anything to use them for because um, I'm not producing fighters yet and I'm not producing tanks yet and that's pretty much everything they're good for. Or modifying your templates, but my templates are what, they, what I want them to be right now. Okay, let's continue. I need some more uh, support companies. Research. Can you guys beat those guys? Yes, you can, but you're under attack at the same time. Okay, stay where you are. You go around. Maybe they can do it. Can they? No. Stop. Don't waste your resources on that. Yeah, maybe I need more infrastructure in the area as well. Oh, I can't build an Arhangelsk kit. Just build up a bit. Should I build it to the fullest? I'm not sure how that works exactly. Does it affect the neighboring provinces or only the province it is built in? But I will hazard. Um, I will risk just building it here. How are we doing in the south? The cars are confusing. Let's go to the political map mode. Yeah, unfortunately, we don't hold Albania. It would be easier for the Germans to focus on the Soviet Union if we did. There is not much we can do about it now, though. Not with our limited armies. I'll just trust that the Germans will do their job. In the meantime... How's the resistance? 
Oh, it's gone down. Almost completely. Maybe you won't be attacking factories anymore. I could be deploying more troops, or I could make uh, the, the treatment harsher, but I think we're fine. It's March f 1942, so those are ahead of time, although they are quite useful, so I might might risk it. And I'm not risk it, but sacrifice efficiency, like I'm doing with the atomic bomb. Or I could just um, research other stuff we need, like advanced artillery. Yeah, let's do advanced artillery. I was... No, you know what? No, let's let's do the support companies first, because we are all using them. And the dust artillery we will only be using once we produce it, uh, so it's not such a high priority for us. Okay, how are we doing in here? Not great, really. Not great. Um, what is your? You're still being super aggressive. Maybe that is not the best choice. Uh, soon you'll get more troops, so maybe it's fine. I can... Oh, free military factories. Seriously? Where did I get those from? Oh, they're, they're not producing anything because they're damaged. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Give me more modern weapons. Also make sure to get these trucks done. Yeah, it's, it's cool. Just do what you do. Right, can you take Greece from... I really need to take care of this area. They are suffering nutrition, they don't have enough supplies, but the Germans don't seem to want to attack them there. I could just abandon these posts and try to handle this area instead. Let's see how we could do it. Or rather, if we could do it. Try it. They are attritioned, and we are, well, so are we, unfortunately, because the Germans are not very efficient with their troops in the area. Maybe if I built up infrastructure. Yeah, that could work. Here you go. Let's build up the infrastructure in the area. Maybe that will help everyone. Also, some naval bases. More supplies everywhere. Surely we need much more than that. Hopefully it'll be sufficient. Also that will engage many of our factories at once. So it is time to reprioritize the factories. Make sure they're taken care of first. Naval bases do build fast, but... Epirus... Oh, that's too many. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Let's keep it. If that is going to make the German army win, then we're fine. Because they are seriously suffering a lot of attrition in the area. Come on, guys. Take care of them. In the meantime, how are you doing? Do you have supplies? You do have supplies. Oh, Dwight. We like you so much. Yeah, take that territory. Greece has given up, finally. Alright, show me. Okay, they still hold a little bit of territory. This has gone back to Italy. Can you attack them? Yes, you can. Please support this attack. Oh, that's not good, is it? But if we can catch them here... There is a port, but that will not be sufficient for them to survive, I think. All right, let's make sure to assault them so they can't attack us back. Um, also, okay, let's take the whole army and order it to go to this province and take the cavalry regiment and order it to go here. Just don't let them take any territory. They cannot resupply. Or rather, they cannot be allowed to resupply. Are you aggressive? You should be aggressive. Is everyone assigned to this front line? I'm guessing yes. Okay, let's check on the other armies. Mm, that's a stalemate. We're still making gains, which is great. Also, um, yeah, I'll, I'm getting close to Moscow. 
Getting it would disrupt them severely, but also would draw much more attention to me. I think I'll just leave the plan as it is for now. Although I could rebase the planes closer to the front lines. Just keep your mission what it was. All right. Um, and let's have a look at you. The resistance to occupation is going down. It's not harsh. They might stop destroying factories soon. And you are... Well, hopefully you'll win against this pocket of resistance. If, we could, if only we could um, cut them off from supplies here, they would just die off. But they do have a port. Alright, it is time to end the episode now. Thank you for watching. I hope you did enjoy the video. And I'll see you again soon. Ah, yeah. Also remember to leave a like. Goodbye.